2020, developed by Naughty Dog, and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, originally for the Sony PlayStation 4, was that of The Last of Us Part 2, a continuation of the previous Last of Us from 2013, which was considered to be one of the most influential video games released in the 20-teens. Despite the fact that the game received monumental acclaim from critics as well as gamers, the plot and premise of the game polarized those who had experienced it. The main premise of the game was that Joel and Ellie were trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic United States destroyed by the Cordyceps brain infection, a fungal parasitic organism-based illness. Whilst when the game was originally released, the premise of the Cordyceps fungus was hailed by critics as a completely new form of viral pandemic to infect human beings as well as bring about the collapse of civilization, caused the premise of the Cordyceps syndrome was easily believed as well as realistic. In the original game, details about the origins of the fungi were known but not exactly in-depth knowledge. Reports from the start of the game with television broadcasts in Joel's home with Sarah listening to the news mentioned that the infections came through Texas from northern Mexico. Further information or lore from the game had that the spores might have originated from the northern Amazon region of South America before it came through in infected crops by possible spread from either animals migrating north in a yearly pattern or from a combination of chemically based pesticides infecting crops from South America on strengthening traits within them or contaminating grain, and animals ate this grain and carried the disease northwards. Whatever the origin, the exact details were never addressed or confirmed in the game, as the fungus took hold within the affected and turned them into runners, which was the first stage of infected. If they're able to survive, then the fungi will take hold and transform the subject into a stalker, which was the second stage. If the subject can still survive further, then they transform into a clicker, which was the third stage. The final stage, on scene as well as depicted in the original two games, was that of the bloater, which was the final stage before the fungus made the host unmovable or literally turned them into a spore nest to spread the fungi to new locations. In The Last of Us Part 2, the Chambler was an alternate bloater that had evolved due to the wet environment of Seattle. But even with all of this information about the Cordyceps fungus, as well as what happens when a human is infected, there were much theories and speculation as to what was more potential or realistic with the Cordyceps fungi. This was one of the reasons why in part 2 the Rock King was depicted within the game, as well as the concepts of humans exposed to the Cordyceps infection right when society collapsed. The Rock King gave specific details to the player that multiple infected could fuse into a single monstrous mass. From in-game lore, the Rock King was supposedly patient zero in the Seattle region of the Pacific Northwest of the United States or even Canada. The the first infected person of that entire part of the continent was at the hospital on confined with other infected, as through the years and even decades, the Narcissus eventually fused into what was later depicted as the Rock King. But players of the first game on theorists had mentioned such a concept of the infected prior to part two's release. On the logical outcome, how did that such an idea would have been implemented theoretically for part two? What was also interesting in the game is that the Abomination was never technically referred to as the Rock King. There were originally plans for Abby to mention the name for the creature, but due to explicit reasons, the reference was removed, and there were no in-game addressments towards the creature, and only lore now refers to the creature as the Rock King. As once part 2 was released, it added depth to the lore relating to the Cordyceps infection as well as correcting misconceptions of it and even confirming or excluding theories about it. Sometimes a card can be forgotten because the premise of a game created so much fun speculation due to the originality of the game that an in-game boss had to be created to confirm and expand upon unconfirmed theories. 